Welcome to another episode of GeekOutdoors.com. So today I want to talk about something that's a little bit different when it comes to being a YouTube creator because a lot of the videos on my channel that I talk about that, uh, it's mostly positive and every now and then I do talk about some of the realities of being a creator and that's one of those videos. And so at the time that I'm making this video, I have been on YouTube for a little over four years and I've actually created more than a thousand videos. Uh, my main channel actually has more than 1100 videos and then I have multiple other YouTube channels so in total and I'll probably have like 1500 videos total on average or maybe more than that but let's just say I had about 1500 videos across all my channels and in that time I say I failed more than a thousand times here on YouTube and you know the definition of failure is going to be different for everyone but you know at least here on YouTube you know everybody's looking to grow and growth is normally related to the number of views uh, which is, is probably the most important metric because if your video doesn't get seen then you won't get subscribers and your channel won't grow and obviously all of those things leads to what I think is the most important thing and that's building a community you know it's really in the end that's kind of like the goal I think of every creator you actually want to build a community that's gonna last and um, out of those failures uh, I can't say everything's been great, you know, because uh, if you think about spending all the time, you know, uh, creating a thousand plus videos, you know, there's so many other things that you can be doing other than that. You know, if any of you out there is a YouTube creator or just a creator in general, you'll understand what I mean. And this is so different than your typical uh, type of life that most people, um, you know, understand, you know, which is uh, basically you get a normal job. Um, and you are in, you know, something that is predictable, you know, understandable. And so I have made this uh, comment many times in that, you know, if you are a creator, whether it's on YouTube or any other platform, uh, this isn't a job, you know, this is an entrepreneurial journey because very similar to a traditional business, you know, you have to uh, go out there, uh, build up a audience, a community, you know, clients, um, and things aren't guaranteed, you know, uh, specifically when it comes to money and because that's really the main reason why uh, a lot of people don't pursue this type of uh, career or this type of lifestyle because of the fact that it's hard to make money which is the same as what you have in a business you know and so um, this whole entrepreneurial creative journey it's definitely not easy you know and uh, I'd be lying if I said you know everything's happy and great because it's not you know and a lot of times I question whether or not you know this is a good news of my time because if I actually wanted to I could just go back to a traditional full-time job um, and just live a more comfortable life you know meaning uh, I could like predict when things are gonna happen and more more than that is you know whenever you're going through these motions as a creator there's a lot of emotions that go into that there's a lot of ups and downs you know I, that's why I go back to the whole uh, entrepreneurial business things because that's the same things that you go through you can have a real crazy high one day and then the next day things go bad and and that's just the whole creator standpoint but you also have to think about how it affects your real life as well you know I'm not saying your digital life isn't real but it's just one part of your life and all of those things are connected and so it makes me wonder a lot it makes me question and I'm always asking myself that you know um, but at least for me, whenever I ask myself that question and I ask myself, why am I still doing this? It always comes back to the same thing and the main reason why I'm still doing this right now um, is because it's the most fulfilling thing, you know, uh, being creative, having creative freedom. That's something that you normally don't get in a traditional life, you know, of school, job. And that's, you know, that's really a hard thing to you know, kind of explain, you know, unless you're doing a lot of that, you know, and a lot of people understand that whenever they're doing things outside of their uh, normal things that they have to do, you know, like their hobbies or whatever. I'm pretty sure when you have that type of creative freedom, you're doing things that you enjoy, doing things that fulfill you. I think most people are a lot happier. And that's kind of, you know, the whole idea of just being a creator is you, you know, ideally, you want to do something you enjoy uh, that's mostly fulfilling. And at the same time, you could actually make money out of it. I mean, let's, let's just be real, you know. So that's a lot of reasons why people want to pursue this whole YouTube thing or just this whole creative entrepreneurial journey. And and I'm not saying that, you know, um, that's the only thing you should do. Uh, but sometimes, you know, you have to sit back and kind of like look at things, you know, just 
being as objective as possible and so um, I'm always going back and forth with that and after doing this for like I said more than four years right now um, and not I would say getting the results that I want at least from the YouTube creative standpoint in terms of the whole money side it makes that decision a lot harder and so that's just kind of the reality of uh, what's going on now uh, that's not to say that you know I'm gonna stop creating because it's there's so many benefits to it but at the same time I have to reevaluate uh, how much time I spend into that and so uh, maybe things will change uh, as, as it does you know being a creative person uh, things change all the time but uh, this is something that I've been thinking about for a while now so uh, that's just my thoughts, uh, maybe ramblings and ideas, uh, just about this whole creative journey. Um, I really don't regret doing this at all. Yeah, I've changed so much. There's been so many improvements, but at the same time, it's not easy. You know, it's a it's a roller coaster. Uh, it's a really rough one at times, and at the same time, you know, you always have this uh, fear of the unknown. You know, um, it's not that you're afraid of failing a thousand plus or even more times because. That's kind of to be expected. You know, if you're going to be doing something more creative, more entrepreneurial, you're going to have way more failures uh, than you would in a normal uh, position. Uh, however, uh, the thing that I think a lot of us, or at least for me, is just the unknown. Because if you're doing things that you kind of know what's going to happen, you know, the fear of failure, it's really not what's holding you back. It's the fear of the unknown. So I don't know if that makes sense. So anyways, if you actually had any thoughts on this, uh, whether you're a creator yourself or maybe you're thinking about this, be sure to leave that in the comments area below. And if you did want to see my entire YouTube journey, I do have a playlist. I'll leave that in the description area below if you are interested. So as always, if you did get value out of these videos, be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Hey geeks, if you are a creative geek like me and you wanted to learn how to create content on YouTube and other places on the internet, then check out my Go Content Creators Group where you'll get access to additional videos and content for all the creative geeks out there. And the best part of it is, all of this is free. Simply head over to the link below, check out my page, and sign up for my Go Content Creators Group. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the other side.